Welcome back to the channel and today I have to talk to you about one of the most important topics to grace the internet for quite a week now. Uh, and no, that's not the coronavirus. Before we do begin though, if you enjoy this video, please don't be shy, click the thumbs up button and give this video a like if of course you like it. If you don't, then you know, leave a comment down below telling me why you didn't like the video so that I can find ways to improve and make it more entertaining for you. It is honestly that simple because I want you to be entertained. Uh, and if you feel like you want to join uh, to, to see to join me to see more videos, click the subscribe button, go into the channel, check out other videos on this channel at the end of this one, of course. Um, and look, I should also let you know that I do try to upload videos on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, those are the most important ones, I think, uh, with little things in between to keep everybody entertained uh, whoever you are whatever you're interested in hopefully you'll find something on this channel um, and speaking about entertainment let us dive into the video a lot of space first person shooters or fighters or heck you know even movies are generally set on Mars now there's a new game that's coming up that looks pretty fun to be fair I'm just gonna start there uh, but it too it's set on Mars now that game is called, if you aren't aware, Memories of Mars, which, you know, is quite convenient considering that it's set on Mars, and it's a sci-fi survival game, so if you like those kinds of games, this could be the one for you. Now, don't get me wrong, this game looks great. Honestly, it does. It looks like something that I would actually be interested in playing, but it begs the question, and this is a very serious question, in terms of movies, games, everything, why is it always set on Mars? You know, why is that the place that we as humans seem to fear the most or seem to want to go to the most? I don't understand. Uh, you know, we have a space station on Mars. We, we always seem to talk about the Martians attacking. There's, there's so much lore about the planet of Mars. Uh, this is always what seems to happen in all these games and movies and everything that goes on. There's generally one of these things that happens. And to be fair, we haven't even really been there yet. Uh, not to mention that we, for some reason, you know, we just leave out Venus or even Jupiter or Saturn or all these other planets. And I mean, there is so much space out there and yet we only ever seem to really go for Mars. Well, why is it only Mars? That's I'm very. If you know the answer to that question, by the way, please let me know down below in the comment section. Why do we always only go to Mars? That's the place that we seem to fear the most, or we're most attracted to going to. I don't understand. And look, personally, I'd like to see a game that is set on a planet like Neptune, uh, with strong winds, with the strong winds that it has, and the potentially icy landscapes. I mean, you know, that would be pretty crazy, having to try and jump around and not get blown away, or anything else like that. Now, look, don't as well don't get me wrong i understand that we choose mars because it's closest to the earth and further from the sun so there would be you know an understandable non-believability believability factor unless you want to get roasted alive going somewhere closer however you know what that's not even a good enough excuse because i'm sure that there would be a different way around handling that scenario a different plot point a different device that they could use that would mean that they're not going to get roasted in the sun on a planet that's closer to the sun let's say and then the question would be the different landscapes uh how would it look what would it be like how would the whole game go uh, there's so much that we could actually get into in terms of this you see we've seen different and incredible landscapes by the way in in different games you know that have been set on different places different earths different planets different everything else's that are outside of the solar system but for some reason we always seem to go back to mars when we are in this solar system now look i would love to see a game even a war game okay like memories of mars on one of these other planets and hey why can't it be a sequel to this game or maybe even a prequel in which they tried a different planet and then they had to go to Mars and that could explain why everything's always on Mars in terms of this storyline, you know what I mean? Now, also not sure what the storyline of this game is going to be about, but if it's, you know, enthralling, uh, then perhaps the next one could be set on another planet as well. Maybe Who knows what could happen with this. I just think that this Memories of Mars game looks pretty interesting. Um, as long as it's not the same tired old shtick that gets used again and again and again and again. Well, personally, you know, I'm not sick of it. Honestly, I'm not sick of it. But I just think that gaming studios, they need to expand their idea of how we're going to go to Mars or why we're going to Mars or anything like that. Now, I know, look, we all like this idea of, of what we believe Mars would be like. We have an idea, you know, a thought process, but perhaps we could get an idea of what other planets could look like, uh, even the ones that we would probably never think to go to. 
I mean, that's just the way that I'm looking at this. It's always the same planet. And I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and the formula, I guess, doesn't have to change realistically. But why not? That's the question I pose to you guys today. If you can think of a reason why we should always be on Mars and if you can figure out also tell me why we're always on Mars, um, I would actually be very curious to know why that seems to be... There could be a historical reason maybe in the movies of the 50s and 60s and whatever else. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, but the real question is why not trial a different planet, a different place, a different breed of alien or human enemy? Especially now, you know, when we have graphics and gameplay and scripting that just get better and better every year, every game that I seem to play, to be honest with you, just gets crazier and more amazing. And I just keep getting engrossed in everything, uh, you know, not to a mention, not to mention, sorry, the entire worlds that are built ju that just they just look beautiful and incredible. And they're beyond anything that gamers probably would have thought possible when they first played games like Super Mario Brothers or even Double Dragon or heck, even Contra, by the way, which is a game that I believe as far as I'm aware is from outer space maybe the aliens came to earth I'm not 100% sure on that I just know that Contra is an amazing game and I mean I know the first two games um, you know you weren't really alien style different planets at least that's what i think okay i'm not too sure but you get the point you get the point that i'm making here why can't we go to another planet now more than ever it's the time that we can do that we have the the graphics the style and new planets anything can happen uh and we still stick to mars and i get why games like doom do that okay that's a reboot that the game started in Mars in the 90s, it makes 100% sense. But new games don't need to go to Mars. Don't need to, I get that maybe they're cashing in. I don't know, but look, that's, I'm not going to rant anymore. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button, click the subscribe button, check out the video that I just popped up for you right now. Um, and, you know, make sure to uh, subscribe, like I said, uh, leave a like, like I said. Um, and I will see you in the next one. But before I go, when you step away from YouTube today, make sure that you make someone laugh. Honestly, it is the best medicine. Spread some peace, spread some love. But laughter is the one thing that I want you to remember, especially in these trying times. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Let's get it.